everyone, so I hope you're doing okay. So from the title of this video, it's going to be on my hair, hair care, hair tips, secrets, all that jazz. Um, to be honest, I don't really, really have, I don't really have any secrets or anything I'd say is more like out of the ordinary that I do with my hair, but I felt like this is a mostly asked question constantly. And I do try my best to put my hair information in the description box of my videos, guys. Please check the description boxes because most of the time your answers, your questions might have been answered when it comes to my hair. But well, I felt I haven't done an FAQ video on my hair for quite a long time. And I know some of you are not patient enough to actually want to go back and look through my videos. So I thought I'd do an updated one, talk about my current hair and any things that I might have picked up. Any trip, trips, any tricks, tips you know, hair care, that sort of stuff. So, um, this is Whitney Marie UK Hair. First of all, my hair, I only get my hair from Whitney Marie UK Hair, UK based company. I've only reviewed for three other hair companies in the past, which, um, which were UK Hair Weaves, Good Hair and The Virgin Hair Fantasy. So, if you see any other pictures of me on any other hair company websites, profiles, whatever, they have taken my photos without consent and they are trying to use it to sell their hair. So please be aware of that and don't, you know, buy it from them because they're not being um, truthful <coughs> um, about where they get their hair from, you know, what hair has been used. So those three, and then including Winnie Marie, are the only hair companies I've ever done hair reviews for and I would no longer do hair reviews for any other companies besides Winnie Marie UK Hair. And um, that's pretty much it. Winnie Marie UK is my hair company that I get my hair from. This hair is proving hair. It was originally as long as 22 inches, but I cut it because I felt like cutting my hair. I cut it again recently. It's now like a, like a 12 inch, 14 inch length. And um, when I curl it a bit more, it gets a lot. It's a lot shorter than this. But this is like this is. I haven't curled my hair today. It's like a loose wave. But the original lengths are in the description box as well. For for the color. I, the hair was originally a, a 1B colour 2 and I bleached, ble I didn't use any hair dyes, I don't know what colour this hair is, I honestly don't know the colour because I bleached it, I took some sections and added some bleach to it to give the highlights, left some sections longer than others, I can't show you, um, there are some bits in my hair, I don't know if you can see because my camera is really pushed back. So I can't even like pick out the strands that have, I have a mirror with me, I have a mirror with me. So there's some bits here that are quite light. So basically what I did was only just to apply the bleaching um, developer onto strands of hair and left in for a few minutes, probably like 10, 15 minutes and then washed it out. So when I saw the color changing a little bit, I didn't have a specific color in mind. I just wanted my hair brown, not black. If you watch my ombre hair video, it's quite similar to that, but I didn't ombre it. I just highlighted it. So I'll link that as well. So I'm wearing a closure, a lace closure on top. The glue that I use for this is like this. It looks like this. The label's rubbed off. I had it for a while. It's called Ghost Bond. So um, it's like a white type. It looks like PVA glue for those who know what PVA glue is. And it dries sort of clear. So that's what I use. So I have had to clean my lace quite a few times. Now, after a while of using it, um, if you're not sure, natural oils and stuff it does it the stickiness tends to you know wear off. I have to clean off the existing glue on the lace so lift up the lace a little bit, clean it and then obviously reapply. So the lace is glued in my hairline and then sewn on the side and sewn on the back as well onto my braids. I get my lace clutches from Whitney Marie as well. So in terms of washing and maintenance people ask how do I get my hair looking so you know healthy looking and everything and believe it or not, I don't like to put a lot of products in my hair. I hate that sleek, glossy, overly glossy looking hair. I kind of tend to like it more dry, if that makes sense. Not unhealthy dry, but just like more natural looking. Because our, nat our natural hair isn't like lush, isn't like glossy, if that makes sense. I like the dry look. So, I don't tend to put things, oils, serums in my hair. But if I have to, if I really, really have to, 
Um, I either use the um, Argo Moroccan Oil or the Frizz Ease, the John Frieda Frizz Ease Serum, but like a tiny bit, and I would only put it at the bottom. I don't like to put it on the top of my hair because that's the bit you see, you know, see first, see the most. I hate that glossy look. But also sometimes, even when I don't put anything on my hair, my hair still ends up being glossy, especially if you have a side band, a side fringe, any sort of hair that comes over your face that's touching your face, because right now it's touching the side of my face, after a while it does tend to get quite, you know, streaky, like oily looking, greasy looking. So what I do, instead of washing my whole hair, I just wash that section that's in the front. I put my hair to the back. So that's what I do. I only wash the section of my hair and then just blow dry it. I don't air dry my hair. I don't have the time for it anymore. So I blow dry my hair. But when I do that, I make sure I add my Tresemme Heat Defense Spray. And um, that keeps it, you know, it protects the hair. So I think the US version is red, ours is purple. So that's that. And when I wash my hair, I use the Herbal Essences um, Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. I like it just because it smells nice and it's, I've always used it. So it's really nice to your hair. And that's that. So to get my hair looking all voluminous and big and, you know, out there, I do use quite a lot of bundles, I use about six bundles, mainly because I normally go for longer lengths, so if you use hair lengths from 20 and up, you kind of need, you need more bundles because you get less hair in the pack, and that goes for every company, not just, you know, my own, my, not, not just Whitney Marie UK, so it's the same for every company, you get less hair the longer the lengths are, so I tend to use three bundles when I'm using 20 inches and up, so I use about six all together because I just love the big hair, team big hair. Um, yeah, and also I like to comb my hair a lot. My hair is hardly straight. I hate the straight, lifeless look, just for me personally. So if I'm going to comb my hair, I use two, well, three things. First off is the Remington Pearl Curling One, which looks like this. I've used it for quite a while. I have a lot of tutorials using this. I will link it down below as well. And I like this one. This is the... I don't know what size this is. Recently, I got the bigger version. I think it's also Remington Pearls, but I'm not sure the number. I'll put in the link down below. This gives you the bigger curls, but they don't last as long as the ones I get from using these curls, um, these curling ones. Um, I have to use hairspray when I use this, and the hairsprays I use are either the John Frieda um, Brilliant Brunette Fix and Shine Maximum Hold Hairspray, obviously for brunettes, and or if I wanted like stronger hold. This is the Tresemme Freeze Hold Salon Finish Hairspray. It's pretty like, pretty good, it's pretty strong. The only thing about this is it leaves my hair quite like frizzy, like the, it's, the hair's not smooth, but with this it leaves my hair a lot smoother. They both brush out easily. They both don't leave your hair stiff or horrible or have like white bits in your hair, they're both fine. This smells a lot better than this. It doesn't smell that great, but it smells better than this one, so I tend to reach for this one. But I only use hairspray when I use a bigger barreled curling one. The other one doesn't require any hairspray because it really holds the curl really well. So that's that. Sometimes I also use my flexi rods. So to keep your hair, you know, lasting a lot longer, especially the curls, I'd first curl my hair with the curling one and then wrap it with a flexi rod and then go to bed, you know, sleep overnight and your hair is literally like poof. Like Diana Ross, Shaka Khan, huge. I absolutely love it. And just brush it all out because I hate having that really, really perfect curl. So that's what I do. So that's how I get my hair curly. Also, before I take photos and you see my Instagram, I literally whip my hair back and forth and my hair is like literally like poof, like really big. And I take a photo. So most of the time my hair is looking like that because I literally have sh like put my hair down and sort of come back up again, you know, the whole whipping your hair back and forth kind of, kind of thing and it looks really big so sometimes when I'm out if I get a chance to do it I go into the toilet and like do this and my hair is like all big and poofy again so another tip for that when I'm blow drying my hair I use this this came with my hair what do you call it hair dryer anyway but you can get this anywhere and I just basically run my hand run my run the brush through my hair while I'm just, while I'm, I can't even talk today I run this brush through my hair while I'm drying it. It honestly curls the hair and it straightens it. It dries it a lot quicker as well. So you can get this anywhere. I hope you can see the camera's really far away from me. 
um, that's that. Okay, so the battery eventually died, so I'm not quite sure where I stopped. But just to recap, I try to wash my hair like once a week or every other week. When my hair does get greasy, especially around the front, I only just wash that section and it makes it look just as new, brand new and fresh. I don't put too much product in my hair because it's kind of weighs down the hair and I'm not a fan of the greasy, glossy look because it doesn't look as great. Whenever I'm blow drying my hair, I use this, I run this through the hair and you know, it straightens it and also gives it a nice flick at the bottom as well, especially for shorter hair. And um, my hair curlers, I use the Remington Pro Curling Wand in these two sizes. I don't know what they're called, the sizes, but I'll try and put them in the description box. For my hair, my shampoo, I use the Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, my, the glue that I use is the Ghost Bond. I'm not sure the brand is just called Ghost Bond. Whenever I want to make my hair look voluminous, I would tip my hair over, bring it back up again. I've already done this like twice already. I honestly don't see this as a lot of maintenance because even though this isn't my real hair, I do try to treat it as it is. I do take the, spend time with it and I am honestly, I feel like I'm a perfectionist when it comes to my hair. It needs to look good. If my makeup looks nice and my hair is looking dead, I just, I feel like... I'm just not myself, so that's what I do. I feel like a lot of you already know these things anyway, but I'm, not, I'm sure some of you who aren't hair neesters will know enough about hair and maintenance might have found this helpful, might have found this helpful. I really hope so, because these are the kind of questions I get and hopefully have answered some people's questions. So yeah, when I go to sleep as well, I don't do anything special. Sometimes I don't even wear anything, I literally just, most of the time I sleep so late that I just fall asleep like, still in my clothes and stuff like that so my hair isn't even wrapped up if I do, but if I do wrap it up it's either in a headscarf which I only tie the front and I leave the bottom hanging down because that's just what I do I try to get it away from my face so I'll tuck it behind my ears and then put the headscarf tie it up just because I want I'm more bothered about my closure than the rest of my hair so I want it to lay flat against my scalp so I try to Tie it up tight and it looks fine in the morning. Also, to get my hair like this with a flick, I brush my hair back and that's how, and then I tie my hair. So in the morning, when I put my hair forward, it already has like this little curved like flick going over my hair, if that makes sense. So when I curl my hair, I curl it backwards, like backwards. If you want me to do another hair tutorial using another curling wand, which honestly I think is unnecessary because it's the same technique, let me know. Since my hair is shorter, you might find this helpful for those who have shorter hair. Let me know if you want a tutorial with this curling wand. It is honestly the same technique, um, but if you feel still, if you still feel you need to see it, see me do it, um, I will do it for you. So yes, that's pretty much it. And quickly before I go, um, I've had to take down my Are You Leaving YouTube video because I feel like it has caused a lot of issues and confusion, which wasn't the case. I was just trying to explain my feelings and my, my mood behind my rants on Twitter and when I filmed that video, my state of mind was really, really in a bad place in all aspects of my life and I was just literally just venting that video was a lot longer than what you saw and I just wanted to explain to you guys, you know, because I didn't feel, because I feel like those, because I feel like you guys take the time to watch my videos out of your schedules and I felt it would be, it would only be fair if I let you know what was going on than just, just to stop filming in general or, to, you know, to reduce my videos. So I thought I'd explain myself, the reasons why I was feeling this way and why I won't be filming as much. And that's what I thought I tried to show and portray in the video, but it didn't come out the way it I was hoping it would. A lot of people are still commenting, still leaving messages like, why are you still here? I thought you were leaving. And even, you know, not so nice ones as well. But the video clearly did say that I wasn't, I even talked about my vlog channel in that video as well. I was going to start a vlog channel. So, um, no, I'm still here. I didn't plan on leaving. I was expressing myself, but um, I guess it didn't come out well. So, um, 
yeah, I won't be posting as much. I have been doing so lately because I've had some free time. I've been ha I haven't had many bookings as much as I thought. So I've had some time, free time to film and stuff. So I've been doing videos for you guys. But um, like I said, when I do get the time, I will make videos. I will film when I'm motivated and in a good mood. And obviously you can tell recently things have been great. So I've had more of a enthusiastic feel to my videos. So expect more videos from me when I do get the time and when I can film as well and I'm not going anywhere. And also like I said, I have a vlog channel. I did mention it really, really briefly in my boyfriend tag. But it wasn't very clear. I have a, I started my vlog channel. There are three videos up already. I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to that channel. It won't be a daily thing. I, I am not as dedicated as those other vloggers who can film every day. Um, honestly, props to them. I am not as brave <laughs> to just do it wherever and whenever I go out. So I will try when I do go somewhere or like some sort of event or something special. I will try and vlog. But if you just like me sitting at home, it's just more interesting. So I feel like um, if it's not every day, it's more interesting to watch and look forward to than if it's just like posted every day. But anyway, I will try. Also, it's supposed to be a singing channel as well. And I have been slacking uh, because my voice, I feel like my voice is gone, but that's an excuse. I will try and do my singing, um, singing videos as well. So just look out for that as well and I just hope you guys are okay, doing well and yeah that's pretty much it for this video, I've rambled too too much. Everything will be in the description box, everything that I've listed, the name, the brand, everything I will try my best and links to all my previous hair videos. I rock the same look, you can tell from my Instagram photos I rock the same hair, you know the hairstyle because I, this is me, a lot of people seem to have a problem with that. I this is my look so unless it changes then I will do a tutorial on it so as always thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys